Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of Dexter Season 7, Episode 7. It uh, was very much a Hannah McKay centered episode, which we haven't really got a lot of her. It was kind of her uh, episode to shine and all the other storylines took a back seat to her this week. And um, that, I mean, that was fine by me. It was about time we actually got to get into her and she actually, I, I liked, I liked, um, I liked her work this episode. I liked the actors, uh, the actresses work this episode and, um, you know, she's just that little bit of crazy that, uh, and unpredictable that she's kind of fun at least for me some people may not like her but to be honest compared to lumen rita and lila i think i like her more than all three of those so yeah that's something um before i get into uh hannah i guess we'll go around the clock with everybody else first because they were you know she was the main plot and everyone else wasn't quinn pretty much sort of kind of bribed Batista after Batista questioned him. Batista just kind of took the money. I mean, I don't know. He, I guess maybe it wasn't a bribe. I don't know. I, don't, I can't tell if it was a bribe, but he was just being generous because he felt bad. Because um, Batista... I don't think Batista was really trying to question him and really trying to, you know, poke him or anything like that, but... I don't know, I'm not sure, but again, Batista is doing something where they're not talking a lot about it because it's not that important yet. And the Quinn thing completely got Isaac out of jail, and the whole thing with the uh, the stripper, was it Nadia? Like, that's going to end poorly for one of them, maybe both of them. And, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, still, again, it's moving forward. It's moving forward to something awful, probably, and I'm looking forward to it. Because I think the show needs um, to wipe some people out as we go. And I can do without Quinn, so hopefully that's the case. Uh, let's see. Uh, LaGuerta got nowhere with the uh, Jordan Chase case. And I think, you know, Deb was able to deflect her again, but it looks like she found Dexter's name on... And my friend told me that it was like, Lundy's list of possible Bay Harbor Butcher people. I, th I mean, I, I guess that's what it was. So I think this might really ignite um, her search for Dexter because she really looked into it. Or she really looked kind of surprised and kind of, you know, light bulb in her head going on kind of thing. And with five episodes to go, it's it's time for that to really uh, get going. And I, actually, it's kind of impressive that, that they've kept that off screen, but it hasn't felt like, you know, it's been slow moving. It's just felt, you know like something that's been put on the back burner because everything else has been moving forward so much quicker. So I've, I've, I've got to say, I loved how they handled LaGuardia so far this season. And she's really going to finally get some uh, some big moments coming up and hopefully also end with um, her death because I still don't... I know I just said I liked her this season, but I still don't like her. So, yeah. And... Uh, who else before going around? I guess, all right, Isaac had another great... two. It was two short scenes. That's too bad, but... I like how Isaac and, Je and Dexter just, you know, talk about who they are. Actually, I like how Dexter talks about who he is to almost, you know, to so many more people this season than normal. And Isaac's one of them. His taunting of Isaac, you know, pissing him off. Isaac take, taking one of his french fries and paying for it. The two of them both knowing that they underestimated each other. And that they, neither one is going to make that mistake. I just really hope, like, all this stuff heads to something, you know, really substantial in the last couple of episodes. Because, for me, it's worked perfectly up until now. So they, all they can do with that storyline for me right now is either fuck it up, or just, you know, have it have an amazing finish. It's pretty much one or the other. It's pretty much all they're going to be able to do with that for me. Uh, Deb and the, um... The writer who died, I don't remember his name. He uh, he creeped me out. He was kind of a weirdo. I didn't like the way he was, you know, around Deb. I'm glad he, he was in and out in um, in two episodes. So, uh, plus, I didn't like him tracking Dexter. I didn't even like him tracking Hannah. And I don't really like Hannah, but, you know, I don't know. I just didn't, like, I wanted him out of the way, and I'm glad he was out of the way. And um, it was funny that, you know, a death in Dexter's 
apartment that wasn't his fault, but it was. And Dexter's finding ways to kill people this season that um, just indirectly affects so many other people. Or it's just it's, it's just new ways, new crazy things are happening to Dexter this season over and over and over. Uh, again, I don't have my editing software, so these would normally be cut out. Sorry. But, let's see, moving on. I guess I'll just move on to Hannah, who... Again, I couldn't quite, when she was, you know, crying and upset, I thought, kind of what Dexter said later on, like, oh, she's good. Because she almost made me believe her. Almost, maybe she did make me, you know, believe her for a moment. Because she seemed genuine. Obviously, she's not. She's a, she is a killer. But she, at least she's upfront about it. And was she being serious when she found out that the husband didn't want kids and, you know, she had a miscarriage? I don't know. So... They're putting just the right amount of sympathy toward her to make at least me not hate her. Um, and her killing, you know, like I said, like the writer, that didn't make me hate her because I didn't really like him. Uh, felt bad for the poor woman whose brother was dead, the, the, her Hannah's ex-husband. That was kind of shitty. But, yeah, still. And everything with Hannah and Dexter, you know, Dexter in his little monologue mentioning... You know, Rita and Lumen and uh, Lila kind of made sense. Maybe, yeah, or is it a little bit rushed that we're, you know, they're so, he likes her that much so quickly, I guess. But, I mean, he opened up to her pretty fast, and we're seeing the effects of that pretty much right now. So, yeah, pretty much, I... Everything in this episode, again, it moved everything forward. And the Hannah storyline moved forward the most. The ending with Deb asking Dexter to kill her was really well done because that's one of the things you you would expect this season that Deb would maybe, you know, like Speltzer, realize that, hey, maybe Dexter can do some good. But I didn't expect, and I expected maybe Deb would ask him to kill someone, but you wouldn't expect she would ask him to kill someone that he doesn't want to kill. So uh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good writing, and um, yeah. So again, I'm just like I'm looking forward to everything just moving forward. It's uh, we got five left to go. I expect Isaac's storyline to heat up. The Hannah storyline will heat up. Laguerta storyline. Everything is now in a position where it can just go like full blast forward, pretty much. And unlike season six, I think they're. I really, you know, I hope they're able to stick the landing. Unlike season six, so. Yeah, that's it for this one. I will see you guys next week. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if I missed something. And yeah, that's it. Later.